Hey guys, it's Douglas here, Drown Boy Cosplay, and today we'll be bringing you another vlog. Uh, this one's actually going to be a little while in production. It's going to be stretched out because it's going to be today, and then in another few days we'll get some more video, and then I'll actually be doing some stuff over the next few days, and then traveling to Colorado for the big event, which I'm sure you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail what it is. But yeah, things are going to kind of be hectic. It's going to be really hard to keep this one together because it's not just a one-day shoot, but it's kind of a over-week-long shoot, so hopefully it comes together as a good video but we're gonna try it how do you guys uh, like my hair by the way let me know um, I'm absolutely in love with it but what we're doing for this segment of the video is I'm going to get a tattoo and uh, we'll try and get some video of that for you guys and this is a very special tattoo to me and it has to do with the vlog and I guess we'll see you at the tattoo shop hey guys so here we are at the tattoo shop and uh, I guess we're gonna go ahead and go in and get ready and uh, let's get this shit knocked out. See you guys inside. And it's at the park too. So what do you think of the tattoo, Douglas? There is no Douglas now, just Tony. Play with us, AJ. Hey guys, how's it going? It is Douglas here, and the time is currently 7.13 in the morning. Uh, I've slept for roughly around three and a half hours, and it's my birthday. Yay! So, wow. 21. This is what it's like, huh? To be honest, this is kind of a big deal for me, because I didn't think that we would be here right now. Never planned to make it this long, but here we are, still in this bitch. Well, oh boy, I'm tired, but three hours is about as much as I usually get, and we're going to do our morning ritual of getting up and going for a run. So, we'll do that, and we'll see you guys after.
This is the hotel that The Shining was based off of, and we are here in Estes Park, Colorado. And we're going to check this out inside, and I'm very, very excited about it. As you can see, I dress for the occasion. See you guys in there. Um, I'll start introducing you to the Stanley. Hair of the dog did bit. Bourbon on the rocks. I'll do, Lloyd. Coming right up, sir. All right. What do I owe you? Your money's no good here, Mr. Torrance. So, you got to party yeah. safe so you can party again. That's right. Sure. That's Absolutely. Right. Oh, yeah. You know, occasionally you'll still find them in there when, on a windy day out in this area. They'll hunker down. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me out here. I really enjoyed it. I'm super glad I came. But you've always been here, Doug. Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, we went to the Shining Hotel. I had a wonderful time. I actually want to apologize to you guys ahead of time because we weren't able to film that much. Turns out they have some copyright issues and we're not really allowed to film a lot of the tour. We were told we could film some other stuff afterwards, but by the time we got done with our tour, most of that stuff was shut down. But I did try to grab you guys a little bit of footage here and there, just so you could see around the inside of the hotel and uh, get a gist for the stuff that we did. Um, had an amazing time. Got to visit room 217, that was beautiful. Got to see a lot of really cool props uh, from different movies or films and TV series that were there, including The Shining, Dumb and Dumber, etc. Um, had a really good time. And I think my favorite part of the entire thing is that I was able to get a drink at the, basically the bar at the Overlook. And not only was it great that I got to get a drink, but the lady who actually served us was super sweet. She loved my dress, gave me a lot of compliments, told me I could call her Lloyd. And then she actually 100% did buy my drink. So the whole your money's no good here, Mr. Torrance thing, that really happened to me. Uh, which my birthday was two days before actually going and she saw that on my ID when she checked and was like this one's on the house so that kind of just made it even cooler I got to have a glass of whiskey inside of the Overlook Hotel so again the entire thing was fantastic definitely one of the coolest things you can do as a Shining fan and the mountains were beautiful everything up there is beautiful the weather was amazing uh, I will tell you guys one mistake I made and that's I wanted to wear my dress 
and just wear it as a dress so I didn't want to wear clothes underneath or over top so uh, I was wearing nothing but this little frilly blue dress and my underwear and my underwear kept trying to fall off the entire time we're walking around on top of that it's below freezing and I was wearing nothing but a dress it's actually been snowing all day today as you can tell it's uh, currently snowfall there's this beautiful powdery white stuff everywhere and not the good kind of powdery white stuff but <laughs> we don't get to experience this kind of weather in Mississippi and this feels amazing I'm really really loving it so we don't have a lot planned at the moment for Colorado today is my off day uh, while everybody's working and or at school I've just kind of been chilling out here staying hydrated getting some rest in after all the traveling I've been doing and one big thing I do have planned I'd like to do for you guys is we want to see if we can go and check out the Distortions Unlimited Warehouse and Base of Operations. Uh, one of my good friends, River, also known as Masks and Horror on Instagram, uh, contacted me and told me, hey, while you're up there, you should 100% go here uh, to Greenlee, Colorado and check out their base of operations. Of course, I'm a huge fan of Distortion stuff. I don't own a lot of it, but I've always been a fan of their designs. And I checked and I'm actually only like 40 minutes away from there. So I absolutely have to do this. Uh, we're currently in the process of negotiating that and making sure we can work that out into the schedule. But that's something I would love to do for you guys. And if so, you'll see that later in the vlog. Well, hope everyone is enjoying the vlog so far. Uh, it's going to be a pretty long one. A lot of random stuff in here. Sorry the Shining Hotel was not the main focus of this vlog. I tried to do that, but I wanted to respect their wishes with filming. So don't worry, we'll try and do some fun stuff for you. And thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you on the next entry. Hey guys, good morning. I am here in Greeley, Colorado at the Distortions Unlimited Warehouse and I'll be visiting here for a little while and checking it out and I'm super excited about that and uh, I guess we'll go check it out now. Happy uh, Monster of the Month days because, you know, we're trying to keep that secret. Going. Oh yeah. There's no, no secrets right now. This is one of our street kitties. Mm -hmm. Kyle likes to come in during the day and and uh, complain about his life, but uh, <laughs> anyway, so this is where all the cutting's done and uh, prep before paint, patching, and such. Like those aliens, they have to be all, uh, they all uh, you gotta tape them and, and do two layers of latex and yeah. put your little fingers on. It's a lot of work. Oh, yeah. I think a lot of people realize how much work this is. This metal department for <laughs> all the welding and pneumatics and control systems and any horrors we can throw at Mike Glover there. There he is. How you yes. doing, Mike? Good. Good. Very good. <laughs> Very awesome. Uh, this is where I live. Today I have. Um, Corpses, let's see, dead, death, dead rise, death rising, what's her name? I can't remember her name now. That's terrible. I, we got too many parts. And then Twitch. Barb. Barb is, uh, is coming up. Oh, I see Toby's joined him. Toby's our other little street cat. Oh, you're both in here now. Yeah, right? they... They were cold last night, I'll bet. How are you doing? Don't be scared. What are you talking about? <laughs> he or she doesn't usually come in as much as Kyle. But sure. Gets good and cold, they want to go oh, ahead and come in. I hope they have warm little cubbies they, <laughs> they can get into. Because it's, boy, when it gets this cold. Now this is Mondo Land. Have you ever seen the show? I have. I've watched okay. it a little bit. Yeah, so this is uh, where all the molds are made and poured and so forth. And uh, they're off today because we, we were pretty well caught up. And so we try to take Fridays off 
Mike had to come in, and I'm always in. You know, we're Marsh and I are here, and Janine's here to answer phones. But we try to do a four day work week as much as possible. Yeah. So that is the start of a giant brain we're working on. Yes, I love the giant props. Oh, yeah, they're fun. Pretty, some of the stuff gets pretty pricey, but you know, it's cool. It's uh, it's more uh, spectacular when the monsters get big. Oh, yes. I'm going to have to get some lights. Now, you might stop walking mm -hmm. because you could walk into an elevator shaft and... Uh, that would be good. Let me turn the lights on first. Oh, all right. This building we moved into after the show, and so uh, we've actually got a, a real sculpting room now, which is awesome. So all the molds, you know, cell phone head molds and things, and all the sculpting happens in here. <laughs> Very nice. Always yeah. nice to have a good workspace. Oh, yeah. This is really awesome. Mm -hmm. Mikey and Jordi were very happy about that. We've got a new guy, Tom Cassidy. We haven't hired, we don't hire people um, very much. We have our small crew. We used to have a big crew, but we have a, a small crew now. And uh, so we just hired Tom, and he's. Graduated from Tom Savini School. Very oh, yeah. talented guy. Super good guy. What is it, Kyle? Is something wrong? Besides warmth and comfort? stories and stuff mm -hmm. that people wouldn't normally get to hear and and when we have them out for various reasons we'll sit them down in the chair and they can tell their stories which is awesome yes this is a lot of the stuff is from uh, monster day we, we started this thing where where the monsters come out in the streets and we had a little puppet show wasn't quite ready for prime time last year and uh, you know, we'd set up the giant, and we're going to set him up again, and just various cool things. It, it was, it's been very well received. People really love it. Yeah, I heard about it, and I'm probably going to be trying to travel back down for that. Oh, man, year. it's cool. Now, here, but let me just give you this one warning. Mm -hmm. It's just like an eight-hour party. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not, and we have people coming from California and Florida and vendors from Michigan and Utah and I'm like are you making enough money to yeah. <laughs> make sense of this but they show up and they love it and they say they do good so I'm happy but uh, yeah it's um it's just a kind of a cool thing it's kind of like um, we're hoping it'll evolve into like the next comic-con or something so yeah. we're trying to develop it so it can be replicated um, this guy was in Star Trek continues the the uh, you know, it's like the, they have perfectly replicated the old Star Trek series mm -hmm. sets. And, and so they wanted this monster. And this was actually a costume a guy wore. And, uh, and he was a tall, it was actually a little taller than this. But his head's back here. So he had to put a camera here with goggles. And yeah. then the, the dome lights up and stuff. So. Uh, it's very, very cool. Uh, thanks. 
this little Bobo, he and the giant have a little conversation. <laughs> I'll have to come up with some some good stuff. I think what I'm going to do with the giant is have him be a storyteller. And uh, and so the kids come sit down and they, they tell a story. Now this area, again, this is, this was, we didn't have this space when the show was going, but uh, we're building for a truck. And uh, so all of this stuff will go as a two, three foot truck. And we pack those trucks. Uh, we'll put the pallets in and then we'll stuff stuff around them and on top of them. Again. So this can go out. Very nice. And we do cute stuff. We try. We're not too good at it. <laughs> this is this thing we barely got used last year, but it's all it's got some handmade stuff and smoke and things. And the kids are getting they, they pay to go fishing, monster fishing. Mm -hmm. They give them a fishing pole and they put them in the barrels. And the guys back there and like hooks mass and stuff onto their fishing lines. Oh yeah. Every day every 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 Everybody wins every time. Yeah, I remember that from my childhood. They put it back there. People would clip on yeah, you know, candy, it's whatever. Cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, kids love that stuff. Now that, as poorly as it's sitting there, that's the original electric chair taken to Transworld in the mid '90s, and that thing has been attributed with changing the haunt industry. Oh yeah. That piece changed the industry. Because, now I think I think it would have changed anyway I think it was ready but I think it just people bought them and then it's like their attendance doubled and the media came out and <clears throat> word of mouth spread and so it ended up people are like oh well instead of just hanging black past plastic and buying some massive Kmart maybe if we put some money into these things mm -hmm. you know, like, It'd be profitable so that's what that's what happened. I love this arch as well. Yes, that's um, well. What what I want to do, if if we can um, get the time, is hang that arch. Uh, hang the brain on the arch, put down these center sections so it makes like a circle. Yeah. And then off of those, we'll put cables to hang this brain, and then it'll be like smoke and, and stuff. And so you can stand before the brain and ask him questions. Mm -hmm. And and through you know program and stuff, all the smoke will come up and he'll talk to you and and insult your puny intelligence and stuff, but he'll answer your questions. Basically like the old eight ball, you know, where you yeah. spin it. Well, it's like that, except instead of just saying yes or no, or maybe, or it'll, he'll, there'll be all this grandeur and, and you know, my superior brain and, da, 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 and the answer is, da, da, you know, so people, you know, ask whatever their questions are. It's all bogus, of course. It doesn't. Yeah, we'll implore upon it a bit further. Yeah. And just yes or no questions. So hopefully they won't be, should I marry Joanne? No. <laughs> yeah, but it'll be a big, a big show and flashing lights. And it, it just, I love stupid stuff like that. You know, growing up in the 60s, there's all this stupid sci-fi junk. And, uh, and that rubbed off on me. And I, and I think it's just fun. I think, you know, if you don't take monsters too serious and uh, have fun with them, it's cool. Absolutely. Not that I don't like serious monsters. I mean, Alien is one of my favorite movies of all time. This is uh, where we store all the molds. You know, we have so many hundreds of molds. And so, um, Mondo will store them in here until he needs them. And then he'll bring them next door and use them. But, yeah, it, Mondo uses more space than anybody. Almost this entire downstairs and a good chunk of upstairs in both buildings out there. The models taking up the space. You need a lot of space to store all this stuff. But anyway, that down there, there's really nothing. Just more junk, but but anyway, that's 
That's distortions as of today. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I'm super happy to have been able to see it. What's that? I said I'm super happy to have been oh, able to yeah, see it. No, it's cool. It's, you know, it's just, it's where we uh, do our, our job here. Yeah. Guy, you can't come in here. Don't even do it. Thank you. So this is just my monster making adrenaline right here. Oh, yeah? This keeps me going. When it gets late, <clears throat> I have to leave this one off though, because the base is a little too much for Mike's ears. Um, see, I think it's all on. Let's see what we've got in the uh, spindle here. That'll make it a little nicer.
Well, I had black hair in the 90s, didn't I? But I mean, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> when I was 99. 99. <laughs> I have the uh. picture. Hey, how's it going, you beautiful bastards? It's Douglas here at Drown Boy Cosplay, and this is the end of the vlog. Things have kind of been crazy the past few days, and I didn't film as much as I should. For some reason, my camera, which I'm filming with now, wouldn't charge, and even now it's having troubles charging. So I shot some things with my iPhone, but not everything, and also, I really didn't have that much space to shoot with, so I just shot when I could. Hopefully everything turns out alright. So just to cover what happened over the past few days, I was able to visit Distortions Unlimited in Greeley, Colorado. Luckily I was talking to one of my good good friends in the community and he was asking me about things I intended to do. And I told him I hadn't quite figured out everything but I had some ideas. And he's like, oh well you should go to Distortions. And I'm like, oh wow, they're around here? Because I had no clue they were in the area. So I knew for a fact I had to go to Distortions. So I was able to get in contact with Ed. He was super sweet and absolutely nice and was able to set things up to where I could come visit. He took the time out of his day to show me around the entire warehouse and I greatly appreciate that. We had some wonderful, wonderful conversations and he truly is one of the nicest, sweetest, most genuine people I've ever met in the community. And meeting him, getting to tour and check things out has given me even more of an appreciation for distortions as a whole. Well, while I was there, I thought about the fact that the actual next thing I intended to order for the collection was a essentially a Herbie prop, one of these zombie beheadeds. You can still get those on Distortion's website, and I had one pulled up, bookmarked, sitting there waiting just for me to get the money so I could order it. And I'm like, well, if I'm visiting Distortion's in person, I need to go ahead and pick one up. So I told Ed, I'm like, if you guys happen to have any blank or painted, I will buy it on the spot. I want one for sure. I've got to leave here with one. Well, we went looking around and looking around, and we couldn't find any blanks originally, but we did find something else. I'll get to that in a minute. But after searching deeply through a lot of the different production stuff and uh, looking at what was hanging up and what was ready to be moved on to painting and what had already been prepped, we found one of these guys, a good old Herbie. Of course, this is an unpainted one, and I had the choice between the ones that were just latex or the ones with foam. And I picked up one with foam. I've actually already removed a lot of the foam on the inside, so he has the, uh, you know, good movement like old Big B had. Uh, I will be doing a conversion video on this guy, I believe, you know, because I've got to copy AJ Good any chance we get here. After also finding this, Ed pointed out, you know, Bucket used the Fresh Death as well. And I'm like, well, I may as well pick both of them up. So I was able to get a Fresh Death blank as well. Again, with foam inside, I've already ripped most of the foam out, but they sold me these two blanks for a pretty good price. I'll probably not be doing a video on this guy because there's not that much to convert on him. AJ already has a fantastic video. Now, as far as the Herbie Herbie, I will for sure be giving you guys a conversion video on him, and it should be a fun time. So, very, very happy that I was able to get these. While looking for that, one of the very first things we found uh, while searching, let me just pull it up here, was one of these. So what we have is not just a vintage Herbie cast, but I believe Ed mentioned that it was one of the earlier ones out of the mold, one of the first, or the first. So it's like the Herbie. So finding that was pretty cool, and Ed showed it to me, and he's like, well, we found this guy, but not sure that you want him. He's kind of flat, you know, and not in the best condition, which he's not rotting. You know, Colorado has no humidity, it's super cold, and everything stored in there was absolutely fine. It's just a little bit flattened out from how it was stored. I realized when I saw the thing, that's a vintage Herbie cast. I've never seen one of those. I want a vintage Herbie. This is a vintage Herbie. And I'm like, well, if we can't find a new one, or even if we do, I'll still buy this guy. And Ed's like, well, you know, you're up here for your birthday. Happy birthday. So this is one of the coolest birthday gifts I've ever been given. And on top of receiving it, he also signed it for me right there on the top. I got some video of him signing that. So that was super, super cool and <laughs> definitely the big score from the trip. But I didn't just leave with one vintage Herbie cast. I didn't just leave with two. I left with three. So after watching Ed paint for a little while, I went off to explore the warehouse and get some more pictures and video with his permission. And I happened to find in random places, kind of just laying around, 
uh, either like I found one just like sticking out from under some stuff and one of them was just laying on the corner and I was like hey <clears throat> are these up for grabs because if so I'll buy them and they were I bought one and one of them I picked up for my good good friend AJ Good over at the House of Masks as an apology for me always copying his stuff I figured he could use another vintage Herbie cast so I picked that up for him but overall distortions for me was the coolest part of the trip because you know this is our people people that have been making these monsters that we've been able to enjoy for so long making all these other different <laughs> masks and costumes and haunt props and stuff like that and being able to tour that warehouse it was everything I imagined it would be you know it was absolutely fantastic I cannot thank Ed enough I had a wonderful wonderful time and that truly made my birthday well after that we did some other stuff here and there some other slightly cool things I did, again I didn't get to film that much it seems like every single time I try to vlog there ends up being some kind of issue whether it be running out of camera space camera giving me problems or just something going on but I think it'll be all right if not I'll try and edit it together make it somewhat entertaining for you guys thank you all for watching by the way tell me in the comments what do you think of my beautiful beautiful nails they were done by my niece she wanted to paint my nails and she did the black and pink you know interwoven I guess or the interlocking and <laughs> it fits the hair and the beard now so I absolutely love it again hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching have a fantastic day and be looking forward to some new content coming up. That Herbie video may actually come out before this video. Love you guys. Bye.